What's going on, people? How are you? How you doing? Um, still sick, but I feel a lot better. Um, I got a video for you guys today. I'm not gonna. I'm not vlogging, vlogging, cause uh, I'm stuck in the house working on things. Big things coming, but uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do today is. As you can see here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit uh, a picture really quick. Like it's just, it's just my process and how I go about doing it on uh, Adobe Lightroom we're going to be using today. And yes, I got my toque on. I'm always cold. Y'all know that. Always have, a, always have a toque on or a hat or something. But uh, yeah. <coughs> So today I'm going to be taking you guys through just something quick. So as you can see on the picture on the left hand side, it's the, it's the uh, original picture. Um, all it is is just, it's just, I took that picture two days ago, I believe, three days ago. And it's just downtown Calgary. Yes, I'm Canadian. Um, but uh, yeah, downtown Calgary, just on the streets. Um, I saw this uh, sewer hole, so I thought it would be a good shot with the reflection off the light there. And then on the right is what I have edited. So I'm going to show you guys how I went from the picture on the left to the picture on the right. Um, it's, it's not that hard. It takes maybe five minutes. It's just really, it's just really all preference. Um, on how you guys like your pictures for all the photographers out there even if you're not a photographer it's like you're gonna have a preference on how something looks you guys might not like the way I edited this picture but I'm gonna show you the steps on what I do and then if like I said you just go on Adobe for me what I have is I'm paying monthly for all the apps um, I prefer you guys or I prefer doing that than paying for one app and one app and one app but if you guys want to try it out like uh, there is trial versions 30 day trials see how you like it try it out see how it goes um I really enjoy it and I think the best offer to get is the month to month uh, subscription but <clears throat> that being said let's get right into this so I'm going to take it back here to the full picture and we're just, I'm just going to reset this. So remember what that looked like. Um, I'm going to change it up right now. So right now as you can see it just has this picture from what I had before. It has all the grays in it, just the raw. And that's what I shoot on. I shoot on raw images. That's why I love um, Lightroom. Because you get the raw image inside Lightroom, it just it makes you able to play around more with everything in the picture. So what I like to do first is I love the sharpness of my photos. Like I like having it sharp, clean. So I play around with my clarity. So like the clarity is going to make the picture just more clear, more sharp. You don't want to go all the way up. You can if you prefer that. Me, I like to stay around the 50 area, 50, 60. And just like right there. It's just, it just works for me. Um, next, I like to go for the contrast. And then the contrast again is your preference. It's just gonna make the shadows come out more. And that is just gonna be, I usually stop around 70. Just how you like it and then like you just hold it there. <clears throat> so next up, I usually go for the shadow. Let's say, cause like the contrast is gonna bring the light and the shadows more vibrant there. So like if you wanna get more of a shadow, darker, or if you wanted a lighter, you just go like that, you just bring up the shadows. But for me, if, with this picture, I'm gonna want it down just a bit, around 37. Then again, play around with it, see how see how you like it. And then, like, I don't want that too dark, so I'm going to leave the blacks around right there. 
So again, <clears throat> um, it's all your preference. With me now, like the next step I would do, and this is just my process of going through a, a quick edit. If I'm just doing something quick and uh, done, get it out there on my social media, my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc., whatever you guys use. I'll leave my uh, link in the description below for my Twitter and my Instagram. Follow those pages. You guys can follow my journey with uh, photography. I post on there pretty much every day with uh, a new photo. But uh, yeah, so like with this, next step I'll go to now is the Vibrance. The Vibrance is just going to bring out the color more instead of going through them individually, which I'll show you guys afterwards. We'll go through that, but so I got my vibrance up around 37, and then I'll bring my saturation usually with it just to complement it just a little bit. 910 will be good. As you can see now, it's it's popping a bit more, right? So next up, as I was saying, like let's say if you guys wanted to get rid of the reds, you just simply just drag that all the way down. Same thing with oranges, with yellows. And as you can see now, all you're going to be seeing really is the green, the aqua, the blue. You might not see purple and magenta in there, but sometimes you'll, you'll be shocked. Like, uh, especially if you're doing a photo, let's say, with, with a sunset. <clears throat> a sunset, I remember the first time I used Adobe and I did a sunset like I use Adobe Lightroom sorry so I did a sunset and I it's my like first time using it, it as my first time shooting raw too actually and is what a couple of years ago and it just when you put that raw image on Adobe Lightroom and then have the individual colors like that the amount of different colors that are in the sky at a sunset is ridiculous. Like, any little touch that you do is going to be like, it's going to pop it so much. And it's just, I don't know, it's crazy. I thought it was crazy. If you guys want to see what I'm talking about, like, I'll bring it, I'll do another tutorial and then I'll do the sunset and I'll show you guys. Or even try you guys, try it yourself and just go out, take a picture at sunset. It is winter time. For the, most of us, I believe, unless you're in like Australia, but take a picture at sunset. The sunsets are like crazy good in the winter time, and then just play around with the colors. You'll, you'll be amazed at what comes out. But back to the photo. So yeah, I got rid of the red, orange, and yellow. So that brings it down to just like a blues. So, what you want to do is like, if you want it like that, cool. Like, if I were to keep it like this, I think I would go also on a blue tint. So like that. If I was, if I wanted to keep it like that. But for this, for this picture on this tutorial right now, I want to keep it <coughs> as regular as possible. So I'm not manipulating it too much, and I'm just going to bring everything back up. But yeah, that to show you guys that you can get it through, like you can take out different colors. Um, the next step I would do is, as you can see at the top, this area, like it's going to be, you see the little graininess, right? What I like to do is I'll play with the noise. So the noise is just going to get rid of that graininess. So you take the graininess and just, so, just see the change there, just soften it up. So it softens up, takes out the graininess, and then what I like to do as well, is when I bring up the noise, <coughs> the noise reduction, I like to bring up the sharpening just a bit as well. It's around 53. It's just always regular now where I click. Um, but you want to switch it to that. It's just going to bring, because you don't want the picture too soft, because like for this general area in the middle, 
that's my fo main focal point. From this light down here, straight through, that's what's going to be bringing your eyes through the whole photo. So my next step, um, I'll go through all these different things here next time with you guys on a more detailed tutorial, but the next I'll go to is the effects panel. So like, now you're going to have like the vignetta and then <coughs> the vignette netting, sorry. And uh, it's just going to be, um, you just play around with that. Like with this picture, it's, you don't want to have like that white outline. Because having a white outline is just, at an, on a night picture, it's just going to look off. Unless it's like, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. I don't like it personally. That's just me. It just doesn't make sense to me. So, like, let's say if you wanted to get rid of the blackness just on the outer skirts, or the, not the color on the outer skirts, sorry. And it's just, you're going to be bringing that, and it's going to be making that more of a round shape, where it's going to be popping out the center light, like I was telling you guys. So the center light now is going to be more vibrant. So it's just going to be popping you, like, when you look at the photo, bam, right in the middle gets your eye, drags you through. The next, again, the dehaze, this is going to be lighten and darkening it. So with me, it's going to, it's like a overlay per se. So if you're familiar with the overlay, it's just, overlay is going to be, like if I go to the left here, it's going to be overlay of white down to where the brightness is. So like the brightness for me on this photo, it's going to be the middle because that's where the light is, the main light source is. If I bring it down now, darker. So I have more of a dramatic effect now. What I was going for in this look was more of the, the wet, the cement wet, which is beautiful. I loved how it, it turned out. And you got that glares of the different street lights and lights on this, on this uh, sidewalk here. And again, that's going to bring now a dramatic effect down through the middle, and you're seeing right towards that lamppost of where your main light source is. So <clears throat> that's it. Um, that's just what I use. And there's your before and after, and it's just it just works perfect for me. I love the way it turned out. Um, it's just. You, so, doing this is like your personal preference, right? So, again, like if you like something that's just a bit more lighter, if you like showing more grays, you don't want to turn that contrast too high up, but for me, that's my shooting style, that's the way I like it. So, that's the way I have it. So, I recommend highly get uh, Lightroom. Um, get the try to just try out all of Adobe's uh, programs. You won't regret it. They're <clears throat> all very helpful with different things. If you're doing video editing, editing, photo editing, photo manipulation, making websites, everything like it. There, it's really good. Try it out. See how you like it. And like I said, just play around with it. Don't get frustrated. Don't make it seem like it's way too difficult but uh yeah it's doing something you love right grind it out and um yeah that's it for me um it's the end of the tutorial if you guys liked it want to see more thumbs up let me know in the description below what you want to see or what you want to know and i'll try my best to answer back or even bring out a video for my next video um this is not going to be all I'm doing, it's just for me right now, I want to keep giving you guys content. So, me being busy, at least me editing this photo is me still working because I'm getting my stuff done. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing this every time I'm busy and not being able to vlog. I think, mostly. I have ideas coming, so don't worry on that. And we're almost at 200 subscribers. 
slow clap, let's go. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, more to come. I'm not going to stop. But uh, this is me signing out. I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace.